Okay, well, I just thought I'd document what I'm working on today here. So, if you saw my previous video, I had some information about removing the gearbox uh, from a little Toyota pickup. And I did that, you know, just to replace the clutch over here and pressure plate and all that. But I figured, well, since I've got the gearbox out, I might as well crack it open and see what kind of condition it is. And I wanted to kind of clean, you know, this sort of sludge and build up out. Um, also, if you, you kind of peek over here, uh, down in there, I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the little magnet. Get around on this side. You can kind of see that little magnet where it picks up all the shavings. I wanted to get in there and clean that. And then just also visually inspect the gears. So if I take any long trips or, you know, while I have the truck over the next five or ten or maybe even longer years, you know, I kind of know, okay, you know, here's the state of the, the synchros and here's how the transmission is put together. You know, has anything gone through it and scarred up the gears? You know, how are the bearings? And so forth. So it's been quite a learning experience. And you can see I've got the uh, tail part over here. So I wanted to just make a couple of notes for people doing this job. Um, these are the bolts that hold the bell housing on. And then floating around here somewhere, oh, under here, these are the bolts that hold both halves onto the centerpiece. So there's other videos that are very good on YouTube about how the transmission works and, you know, even people taking apart this specific transmission. But I just wanted to kind of document, you know, what I'm working on and, and provide a couple of, of notes. So a couple of things I, I wasn't sure about initially was what, what in the heck are these things for on the outside? Turns out that's how you access, I guess, the spring and the detent for these shift levers, shift rods. And you can see this thing here. Now, when you crack open the case, uh, take these take these bolts out. Uh, you, on on the forward part that goes into the motor, you can just kind of you know bang the case with a little rubber mallet, and it will separate. You can get in here very gently, pry bar, um, and just kind of inch the case off. Now, before you do that, however, you'll see that there are a couple of rings and those have these retaining rings in them and you're gonna so you're gonna need a set of pliers like this <clears throat> excuse me these are the little snap ring expansion pliers so before you take the front part off be darn sure and before you start hammering on it be darn sure that you remove these from these bearings here because it the case is, uh, this case over here is not going to go anywhere until you get those two rings off. But that's all you need to do. It's just the outer rings. This one, this one, and there's nine bolts. So once you get that, you can pull off the front case. And of course, you got to drain the transmission first unless you want uh, gear oil to go everywhere. Now on the back side, it's a little more tricky. You have the shift linkage here. This is what is actuated when you you know, move your shifter back and forth, first gear, second gear, that sort of stuff. And this little notch right here goes in this little affair here. So right now I'm in second gear and depending on how you actuate the lever and the pivot, it, that little fork or that little uh, foot kind of moves these guys around. Now, when you go to slide this back piece off, It'll, there's no, there's no, you know, spring clips or anything like that. But this little guy here is kind of holding up the show. So what you got to do is take an impact gun and back this out. And then slide this affair out of its little retain thing here. And its little 
bushings and bearings and such, you need to pull that out. And that will let this piece come out and you can kind of see down in here. And like I say, there's other videos. You, you don't need to take these out. This is what kind of gives you, uh, keeps the shifter from flopping all over the place. And then I've removed the uh, speedometer cable uh, pinion thing. You can kind of see. So I'm just going to clean up in here. And, um, oh, I forgot to mention, you also, obviously, you know, if you're doing this job, you're going to see, obviously, you need to take this little guy off uh, to get access to the, uh, the snap rings. But this is just kind of where the throwout bearing rides. You can see the throwout bearing over here. Um, the other interesting thing is I, I, because somebody put a new motor and transmission in my truck before I got it, I was never quite sure, you know, is this a W55? Is this a W56? Is this a W58? So what I've been doing is marking the output shaft and the input shaft and turning. And then I'm writing down my gears and comparing them to a printout I made from Marlin Crawler. Now, interestingly enough, I thought this was a W55 transmission because you know, I got a 1992 wheel drive Toyota pickup, which most likely would have a W55 transmission. However, right off the bat, on first gear, when I twisted it around, I got three around 3.2, uh, 8 or 9, a little more than 3 and a quarter. And the only thing that matches up with that is the W58. However, according to Marlon Crawler, Crawler the W58 has a chain for the transfer case. Now, I don't know if that means my transmission is supposed to have a chain in it or what the deal is. So I'm a little, you know, bit of a novice when it comes to uh, transmissions. But here's something else. <clears throat> On the W58 has a 26 spline output shaft. Now, I've counted this here, and I believe that this is 26. But I better double check, because I, actually I misread that now that I think about it, and I counted this one, so I don't know if we're dealing, let me, you know what, let me grab my, uh, I do know that this is 21. Let me, see, let me slap this on the back here and see if I can, what we can get here. Okay, yeah, so the front and the back are both 21 teeth. So I think that rules out the W58 because the output shaft spline claims that it should be 26. So this leaves me with an interesting predicament. I believe I have a W55 transmission and I think somebody has rebuilt it with a gear set from W58. Because these are the W58 gear ratios that I'm encountering. So the only thing I but but yet it's not a W58 transmission as far as I know because there's no chain involved. And it's not 26 spline output, unless Marlon Crawler is talking about the transfer case output. So, <clears throat> maybe if any of you guys in the comment section who know more about these transmissions than I do have any thoughts on this, you can let me know. I'm still researching it. But, like I say, first gear is 3.28-ish. And second gear is definitely not higher than two because it didn't, it took just shy of two rotations, so that's got to be one point something. And the only thing I can find on this chart that matches up with that for second gear is 1.894, which is right about what I got. So, not sure what kind of transmission I have here, but I'm having a good time taking it apart. And for anyone who is interested in what it would take to take the case off each side. Maybe this video will help you out a little bit. I'm just gonna
clean everything, get the sludge out of it, get those metal shavings out, and put this guy back together. The synchros, from what I can see, are in real nice shape. So that also leads me to believe that this transmission has been rebuilt. And I'm guessing that I think it's a W55. I could be mistaken. Uh, I'm going to try to do a little more research. My guess is it's a W55 housing that's got W58 gears. Now, if anyone out there has access to searching serial numbers for Toyota transmission, this is the serial number off this case. The only other bit of information I have is right here. A junkyard or a wrecking yard, as far as I know, wrote Toyota 91. And that's one year later than my 1990 Toyota pickup. So, anyways, if anyone has any information or comments about what I'm dealing with over here, uh, please feel free to use the comment section below because I sure would be interested. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.